Have you ever experimented with psychedelics or plant medicine? In this video, I wanna break down a recent experience I had with psilocybin, a psychedelic plant medicine, and what I think about the whole thing. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Recently, I did a video on microdosing where I talked about the James Fadman protocol and as of late, I've been uh, notified of the Paul Stamets protocol as well where you take niacin and lion's mane to help with neuronal growth. But most recently, me and a group of people sat down for a heroic dose of plant medicine, uh, specifically psilocybin, where we all did about four grams and it became one of the most uh, amazing experiences of my life. We did this with a bit of lemon juice and a little bit of lion's mane as well, just to help one with intensity and two with the neuronal growth that comes about from it. But during the experience, I had what a lot of people refer to as a bad trip. And I've had bad trips before and bad trips are never bad trips. They are just hard lessons that you need to learn. And the problem is when you are fighting a bad trip, similar to how I did, then it starts to go down a worse path, which is why you should always have a sitter nearby anytime you're doing this. And once again, I do not condone any type of drug use. And I do say to do all this, do your own research, ask your doctors, figure out if something like this is right for you before you embark on that. But when you do have someone like a sitter or a psychedelic professional, as I'll call it, someone who is in a actual uh, medical establishment will sit with you, then you are better able to both hold on to reality and to what is pressing in your mind. For me, this was returning to a fear that I have of forgetting that Things. It could be information, it could be who I am, could be anything. And that is a fear that had come up uh, once again where I quite literally forgot who I was. I forgot how to think in uh, specific words. And that process was definitely frightening, which led me to the next thought process of, oh, did I take something that wasn't good for me? Is this bad? And after that, really tussling with my mortality and the fact that we are all on a path that eventually does lead to death. And while this sounds dark, this was actually the rebirth period of my so-called hero's journey during this psychedelic experience where after that period of tussling, wrestling with deaths, of having energy in uh, twitches and loud yawns actually coming out and making sure to get the energy out instead of purging, uh, like throwing up in the toilet or going to the bathroom. And after that experience of feeling and tussling with my own mortality and realizing how being present in this day is what happens, but also that there is something next and uh, I don't, and really coming to terms with the fact that this life is a life that we need to take and make incredibly important to us. Uh, I noticed that this was like literally the death before the rebirth and the rebirth came and when the rebirth came, it was this belly laughter that came out of nowhere for about two hours where every time I stopped laughing, I don't know where the laughter came from, but it was internal and it became incredible. And I looked around and realized how hilarious this is that we get to be this expression of consciousness and really become who we want to be. And so when it comes to any of these plant medicines, number one, always make sure you have someone with you, a sitter, whatever that is, that can stabilize you in reality. Uh, I had a near friend make sure to help me stop fighting and really get through uh, the mindset that my mind was going into. Um, step number two is to make sure that you do this safely in a safe space and container. Always set the container, always set the intention prior to. Uh, make sure that you have nourishment just in case it goes for longer than expected. Make sure that you are in a safe area and that it is a safe place. And number three, do this with the intention of becoming better yourself so that you can serve the world more greatly. I believe that these are some of the most profound experiences that a human can go through and by doing it, anyone can become the version of themselves that they wish they could. And it's not necessary and I do not think that everyone has to or needs to do this, but I do believe for those who feel called to do this, this is something that can incredibly and dramatically change your life for the better. So press the like button if this video resonates with you in any way. Otherwise, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Mm -hmm.